What's up everybody, my name is Slanted, welcome back to another video. this video, we're going to be talking about the wonderful world of Trick Moon, and why it will be an important show in the future, and just what it's about. Trick Moon is an animated short that was put on Cartoon Network on YouTube a few days ago that tells the adventures of Trickshot and Pocket, and more importantly, they tell their brother who is stuck inside of that moonstone. So at first look, this looks so good, dude. I immediately recognized the OKKO OK style, and just that I knew that like someone from the OKKO OK team must have made this or worked on this show. So, yep, I was right. Gianvena, however you say her name, my bad. Hogson, Trick Moon is an anime short created by Cartoon Network by Gianvena Hogson, former writer and director for OKKO. OK OK KO or OK K Let's Be Heroes is probably one of my favorite cartoons, favorite shows of all time in general. KO is one of the best protagonists in a show I've ever seen, even past cartoon wise. You would think it would be the silly and goofy type of show, which it mostly is, but like, it goes into a way deeper, darker, just story in general, and it's really good. Whilst watching this show, I got my mind blown many times. By just not expecting stuff to happen, and it did happen, you know. I just wasn't expecting most things in the show. It It's always unique and crazy. Anyway, sorry about that, but let's get right back into what this video is actually about. Trick Moon. Immediately, I have OK KO vibe. Then we see a shot of all the characters, and the prince get trapped inside of that moonstone. And then we see Trick Shot and Pocket. And we see his arrow, which is a big part of the show. He's like power. And they're just messing around. And there's a dragon, which we'll talk about later. And then OK KO vibes again. And then this thing was just reminiscent of Sonic. So yeah, here I can't help but think of Sonic. And more importantly, this scene in the opening of Sonic. So yeah, let's learn more about how this short came to be. Made a little vid about the Trick Moon Pitch Bible I originally made back in 2015-16. If you want to see more making of videos, let me know. This is what the creator of Trick Moon posted with a video. Apparently they made like a comic book slash manga slash bible slash whatever you want to call it type pitch to just pitch for a cartoon. There's also this art, which I'm pretty sure is official by the creator. So, um, there was also this. This was going to be the cover art for the show. So, let's move on now. There are already theories about Steven Universe and Trick Moon being connected, and OK KO and Steven Universe being connected and stuff like that. Now, if you remember that dragon that I showed in the beginning of this video, and that was in the beginning of the short. And he had a gem in him, and that's where this theory came from. Actually, in these scenes especially, like right here, when she pulls out of the, pulls the gem out, and then he pops like he just went into it. So there actually was someone who was faster to making this video than me. Uh, his name is Falcusbum94. He is a YouTuber I've been watching for the past year on cartoon updates and stuff, news and all this stuff with Cartoon Network and other streaming sites and all that. So I'll leave his YouTube and this video in the description, the links, so check him out. And yeah, the next big Cartoon Network show, he also thinks this will be the next big Cartoon Network show or will be important in the future. Other than that, there's already tons of articles coming out and news and whatnot. But other than that, there's a bunch of fan art already being made by tons of people over the world. And I'll show some of that now.
If this website is true, then apparently there are over 32 articles and 534 edits just being made about Trick Moon as of when I took this screenshot, which was about an hour ago now. So I wouldn't be surprised if that number is bigger. By the sounds of his personality, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this character. I did like him in the short. Trickshot, unlike his older brother, is a goofy troublemaker. He never listens to his old brother and will always get into trouble. But he does take responsibility for his actions and resolves the problem he has started. That part I really like about the character. Speaking of characters, this is the bunch of characters' names that we actually got throughout the short. AKA the main characters and the main antagonists and whatnot. The character named Mage that I will show after this is going to be the main antagonist of the show and he's going to be working for the main villain of the show, Dr. Bleak. So this is Mage, going to be the main antagonist of the show as we saw in that one clip earlier in the short. Uh, they are a raccoon type person and wear red, maybe reminiscent of Little Red Riding Hood. Prince, the guy who got trapped in the Moonstone, is the tritagonist of Trick Moon. He is the eldest brother of Trickshot and Pocket. Uh, Prince is, unlike his younger brother, is a serious stickler. He always tells Trickshot and Pocket what to do and always will tell them to keep out of trouble. He does praise his two younger siblings when they do solve their problem. Sounds like the normal older brother type, so it's pretty stereotypical and it's, it's, it's pretty fine. It's good. But you know. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. This is where we're going to wrap it up. And I hope this video made you decide whether you want to watch this show, if it does become a show, and whether you want to check out this short for yourself. I will leave that in the description, as well as Valkus uh, Burns' video and his channel as well. So be sure to check him out. Leave a like on his video, subscribe, whatever you want to do. It, it helps him, I think. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate it. So yeah, that's going to be all. Tell me what you think about this short, and be sure to check it out in my description. I'll see you guys in the next one, whenever that is. This is a perfect video, about 8 minutes. Good length, I think. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make a video about this new short, this new show, possibly, that could be something really big in the future. And I think it will end up being a show, as of the support, if it keeps getting the support it is. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, whenever that is. My name is Slinted. And peace out.